Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. And for that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a love prediction reading for Pisces for April 19th through the 25th. Please keep in mind this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, if you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will always be most humbled, most honored, and I'm most grateful. Thank you so much if you decide to do that. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Let's see what's going on with my Pisces. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on with my Pisces? Show me, ancestors. My wonderful, wonderful Pisces. What's going on with my Pisces? Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. You have the Hermit. You have the Six of Cups. And you have the Nine of Cups. Okay, Pisces. Well, the Six of Swords means you're moving toward peace. You have been working on this piece too. You mean to get this piece. You know how you're going to get this piece. Because see, you're moving away. When the Six of Swords comes, you're moving away uh, from something that was possibly turbulent. Maybe you had a relationship with it that was turbulent. I don't know. That caused you a lot of friction. I don't know. But you are moving toward. You see, you are moving away. You are moving toward contentment. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. You've worked very hard to get to this stage in your life. Or at the stage of this relationship, you have worked very hard. This could be a, a Virgo person that you're dealing with too because you have the Hermit. The Hermit means that you have been introspective about how to get your peace. How to work on getting your peace and keep your peace. You have been very introspective about that. You have been learning. You have been um, how to do that. Not to get in a spirit of chaos. You have been learning that with the situation. Then you have the Six of Cups. So then you had you 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 had um, someone that you've known. Um, this is not a new person. You've had great memories with this person. This is someone that you've known that you've had to learn how to get your peace with in order for you to be content. Because a nine of cups means content. You want your peace with someone. You are you have learned how to have your peace with someone from your past. So that you can be content with um, the rest of your life. Um, if you could, please give me another three to five minutes and I'm going to clarify the cards for you. So I can make sure that I'm giving you the correct story that the universe wants me to give to you. But you are definitely moving toward peace and you, are learn you have learned how to get peace with this person that you have been with. Um, you've worked very, very hard. I can see this. You work very hard to get this peace. You don't want this conflict. You don't want this, um, this, um, period of just always in a constant, um, conflict with them or constant craziness with them. So let's see why the six of swords is here for you. Show me spirit guys. Why is the six of swords here for Pisces? <laughs> Thank you spirit guys. I told you, you've been in conflict with this person from your past, someone that you know. You've been in conflict and you've tried, you're figuring out how not to be in contact. You've learned how not to be in conflict with them. That's why you're moving toward calmer. Calmer, This you're moving from turbulence into calmness. Let's see why the Eight of Coins or the Eight of Pentacles. It's called Eight of Coins for this card. But let's see why the Eight of Pentacles is here for you, um, Pisces. Show me, Spirit Guys. Well, you have the five of pentacles too. So I think that you guys probably argued a lot over money. I think that's what the problem was. Five of cups, like I said, is, is, um, conflict. Um, but it's, um, conflict, but it's, it's, it's a, um, conflict with your heart space. Um, you're in a regretful mode, a remorseful mode. Um, you're depressed. Um, your energy level is low. Um, it's not a good energy when it comes. That's why you've got to get to that calmness. You've got to get to calmness. And you guys, and you have the Eight of Pentacles here. You're working hard to get to that calmness because Pisces don't. They don't like conflict. They like everything. We want to be everybody's friend. Wants everything to be smooth sailing. Um, this, the five of cups, you have three cups down, but honey, you still have two cups there. You're going to be okay. You're going to come out of this. But I think that you argue with this person quite a bit over money, over money. 
and you're trying to make sure that this doesn't happen, that it, it keeps on an even keel or, you know, you're moving away from that, um, that type of energy with them. Let's see why the Hermit, like I said, the Hermit could be a Virgo person, could be anyone, but the Hermit card does represent Virgo. So let's see why the Hermit card is here for you. Show me why the Hermit card is here for you. Ah, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Um, this is the beginning of of money, of of great money. You had the lack here with this person. You um you you guys were always, you know, going at it about the money, where the money was going to be, who was going to make the money, how the money was going to be made. But now, because you have learned, you have worked hard. You have learned. You have now the Ace of Pentacles, which means you have an abundance of money that is beginning to come. And you've learned how to do that with this the Hermit here. I mean, this is all about work and all about you, Pisces. You've learned how to get to this stage of um, having an abundance with money, having abundance. Maybe it's a new opportunity, a new job. I don't know, but you're definitely, you have moved there. Maybe you were in school and now you've graduated. I don't know. Maybe you were doing some things um, to learn a trade, whatever. You are now moving toward an abundance of money. And that's why that ace of disc or ace of pentacles is there. And the, the hermit is there because you have learned. You have been introspective. You took the time to learn. Let's see why the six of cups is here for you, Pisces. Show me why the six of cups is here for you. Ah, uh, you have the four of disc or the four of pentacles. You now can be stable because you do have the money. You do, you don't need, you don't have to fight anymore about the money. It's horrible when you're in a relationship and you fight about money. That's the worst. You don't have to fight about it. You can stay back. You can stay right here with your good memories with them. You don't have to go back to this depressive stage. You can stay right here with these good memories with them because you have the six of cups and you have the four of disc, which is the four of pentacles. The four of pentacles, which means that you are stable now. You are stable. Show me why the nine of cups is here for um, my Pisces. Why is the nine of cups here for Pisces? Look at that, Pisces. You're filled with joy. Sun, the sun card. You are filled with joy and happiness and goodness because you have finally, finally found how you can make this happen and make this work. You have the six of swords here at the beginning. You're moving away from turbulence you have the five of cups you have a depressed heart state your your heart is is low your energy is low um you uh have conflict with the person then you have the eight of cups eight of eight of coins excuse me eight of pentacles which means that um you are working hard to get over this because you will get over the spirit of lack you were getting over money like i said you were fighting you had been fighting with someone about money then you have the Hermit card, which means you were introspective. You either were going to school, you were learning something, you graduated. But now, guess what? You got that Ace of Pentacles there. Ace of this, what they say with this, with the Ace of Pentacles. Which means that you have the great manifestation of money now. What a horrible thing you had in the past. And it's very hard as, um, when it comes to money. With COVID-2 being here, pay, maybe you found a new job and now you're on your the right path. There's a lot of different things. But then there's the Six of Cups. This is someone you know. This is someone you love. This is someone that um, you want to be with. And you you had to learn how to get to this peace with them. And how you got to this peace with them was having the manifestation, having the money here, having a new opportunity. And then you have the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles, like I said, uh, is stability again. You've got stability again. You've got contentment with the nine of cups. And last but not least, you have that sun card. That sun card means all is well. It's fun. It's joy. Your heart is overflowing with goodness and love. You've, you've, you've mastered this, Pisces. Let's see. Let me pull an angel oracle card so I can see what the angels have to tell you. Let's see what the angels have to tell you. Let's see what the angels have to tell you. Well, Pisces, they tell you no need to worry. No need to worry. In other words, everything is working out to, for on your behalf. It's moving. It's working on your behalf. You, are, you have moved in the right direction. You don't have to go back to the spirit of black. This ace of pentacles here means that everything is moving forward and your money is going to be right. Your relationship is going to be right. That's what I have for you, Pisces, for the week of April 19th through the 25th. Love prediction reading.